What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and behind me is my 2020 C8 Corvette. We just got it back last week from the body shop. We just had the Liberty Walk wide body done to it and the new AGM Hyper GT wing put on it. Today I'm going to go in depth with you guys, show you guys all the details of the Liberty Walk wide body kit, show you the AGM wing, show you guys all the mods I've done to the car, get you guys caught back up. It's been a while since we put out a video. I think it's been about two or three months. Took a nice little break while the car was under construction, but we're back now. What did you guys think about the sound of the new exhaust system? So we used to have AWE's exhaust, the four inch tips, super loud exhaust, but we switched it out for the Paragon exhaust, went with the blue tips, thought it looked really cool with the green. Sounds freaking amazing. It's a lot deeper than AWE, but not quite as loud. I love it. So I decided to go with the Liberty Walk wide body kit. This kit is from Japan. It's a full replacement kit as in all of the bumpers, the fenders, the side skirts, the rear fenders, the rear bumper, the wing, those are all full replacements. So there's no cutting into the fenders, cutting into your bumper, bolting on uh, panels. As you guys can see, there's my rear bumper that I used to have when the car was white. But yeah, so anyways, full replacement kit, super high quality, absolutely love it. I had Kevin over in Orlando at Precision Auto Body install and paint the kit. That's right guys, it's painted. So remember the car started off white, then I wrapped it green, then I wrapped it blue. Well now she's painted green, door jams and all. Look at that, full color change. Looks amazing, Kevin did an incredible job. The color we went with was Verde Mantis Lamborghini color. Right now you can't really see it too well in the dark. Maybe back here, you guys can see it's very uh, shimmery, glittery, lots of sparkle in the paint. Pull out in the sun here in a little bit, show you guys. But looks absolutely fantastic. Loved it, love it, love it, love it. So happy that he uh, convinced me to paint the car. I was actually gonna wrap it again. I'm so glad I did not do that because it would not have come out the same. But yeah, like I was saying, these are full replacement parts. So the bumper diffuser, that's all one piece. Um, a lot of people have been asking about this diffuser. Where can I get it? Unfortunately, guys, y'all cannot get it. It's all one piece with the bumper from Liberty Walk. You guys haven't purchased this thing, but you guys will probably want to purchase the rest of it. Rear bumper. Diffuser, much bigger, more aggressive, bigger holes. Um, has this little shelf right here that blends in with the fender. Again, the fender, no cut, just one brand new fender. Geez, I'd say it's about four inches wider on each side, which I think is gonna be wider than the outgoing Z06. The Z06 is probably like two or three inches wider than the stock. You guys can see, like this is the original line. This is where they added it on, basically. It is a much wider. You guys can see here, in the little gills over here, a little bit wider, these side skirts, much, much wider, so when you're getting in and out of the car, you gotta be careful. It's much wider than it used to already be. So I remember before it already came out to about right here, which was already pretty wide, but now we've got an extra couple inches to be careful of. On the front fender, we have a new vent up here, stuck out about, what, three inches. It's got exposed tire right there. Most people will probably be worried about the paint here and here, but we have it all PPF, so. Should be good to go. Up on the front, the front diffuser is now molded into the bumper. It's all one piece. All of these pieces that were all uh, standalone plastic pieces on the C8 are all now molded into the bumper. So it's all one piece, grills and all. The front bumper, I'd say, sticks out. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd say it sticks out a little bit further than stock. That front uh, diffuser definitely does. We are about, I don't know, a pointer finger above the four fingers. From hitting the bottom. Luckily, we do have the lift on this thing, so we do clear most things. We're actually going to, one of the other mods, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but you can see my rear tire is a little bit taller, or the gap is a little bit bigger than my front. In the front, we put the CCO lowering collars, one of the very first things I did to the car. It dropped it an inch. I've got some Paragon lowering collars coming in. They drop it only either three quarter inch or three eighths inch. So we're just gonna bring that up just a little bit. Should be able to clear a couple more things on the highway and the road, driveways and whatnot. Show you guys the driver's side, same things. All the really cool features, the big vents, bigger fenders. On this side, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we have silver wheels. So when I originally ordered these wheels, I originally ordered black barrels with black centers, but they came in like we saw on the other side. They came in silver. 
So on the passenger side, I went ahead and painted the centers gloss black. So now I've got like two personalities, essentially. So if you want the more aggressive, sporty side, go to the passenger side, see the black wheels. If you guys like the more clean culture, classy looking, go over to the silver side. When we're rolling down the highway, guys, this side looks amazing. For those of you guys who are interested in these wheels or these type of wheels, these are actually Rohana wheels and they are the RF G9 Forged Series wheel. They got a bunch of cool ones on there. It was really hard to decide which wheel I wanted to go with to be honest with you, but I'm super happy with my choice. Now before we jump to the inside and show you guys the mods there in the engine bay, we have some work to do to the outside. AGM sent us some bolts to replace on the wing. They sent us originally these stainless steel ones, so we're gonna replace them out with these black ones. One of the easier mods that we've done on the channel, what we gotta do is pull out about, what, 10 of these screws and uh, replace them with these black ones. All right, got ourselves a little bit of Loctite. Let's spread that on the threads there so she don't pop off. Oh, that looks a lot better. All right, so our passenger side is done. We replaced those two stainless steel bolts with the black ones. So we got a before. And after. I'm gonna go get the top popped off, show you guys what the car looks like when we walk with the top, but also to get some light on the inside. Alright, guys, we got the top in the back. The hatch barely fit, almost hit the roof there. But yeah, we got the hatch in the back now. I would go over the engine bay, but we can't really see much. So I'm gonna get pulled out outside. Let's jump over to the interior. So the first thing you guys will see is the carbon fiber steering wheel from Paragon Performance. Got the red tape right there. We actually added the overlays onto the wheel and then the carbon fiber paddle shifters. As for the rest of the interior, I don't think, oh yeah, we've done one other thing. So back here on the rear windscreen, I think you call it, turn the power on here. Got a little windscreen in there with the YouTube channel and all the sponsors that has helped build this car. Pretty cool, that's from Windscreen Restrictors um, on Instagram. Pretty cool little thing there for shows and whatnot. But as for the rest of the interior, we have not done anything else. The next how-to, after you guys see the uh, paddle shifters, you guys will probably see the fire extinguisher install. We got one from Paragon Performance. It goes on the passenger side, it comes with a bracket, I'm gonna go and get that installed for you guys. If you guys track your car, you guys you know, should have a fire extinguisher just in case. And just looks cool, cool little accessory. We also have some cool little pieces here. We got a carbon fiber start stop button from Paragon. The red Z button for the steering wheel from Paragon. And then, uh, looks like we got a little key fob, carbon fiber key fob from Paragon. So yeah, we got a couple more installs in the interior to do for you guys. Let me get this car pulled out so I can show you guys the engine bay and then what installs we have for it. guys and as for the engine bay the mods that we have done so far are we got some paragon cap covers got one for our water reservoir oil we got a paragon oil catch can that we installed got to make a video on that as well or we've already made the video got to post that as well very easy install keep the uh, oil out of that intake um, but yeah as for those two that's all we've done for the engine bay so far. Uh, we do have Kevin painting the engine cover. That should be coming here shortly. And then we've got some new strut tower bars uh, from Paragon that need to be replaced as well. So I got a future video for that too. So guys, earlier I mentioned SEMA. We will be going to SEMA. Rohana invite us out. We're gonna be in their tent. SEMA goes from, I think the uh, November 1st to the 4th. We'll be there from October 30th through the 6th. The car will be there. So if you guys are there, make sure you guys check it out. If you guys aren't able to get into SEMA, I'm sure I'll be driving it on the strip in Las Vegas. So if you guys are just in Vegas in general, you guys will probably see it. Probably gonna go up there with the driver mod, Anthony. Gonna bring his GT350 and the C8. We're gonna trailer both of them at the same time. Should be a good time. That should be a pretty cool vlog. Both of us just trailering the cars from Orlando all the way to Vegas. That's gonna be nuts. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys don't mind, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the Liberty Walk wide body with AGM's new Hyper GT spoiler. What do you guys think about the color, the wheels? What do you guys think about the entire package? Well, I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.